What can this material contribute to our uh, finger therapy? I would say a lot. Hi, this is Efren again, bringing you his solution to how he strengthened his weak fingers after they were attacked by stroke in 2013. So we are now on this stage where uh, we are going to make use of props, just like this pin here, and uh, uh, we are now leveling up. We are we are strengthening. We are going to develop this, or we are to develop the strength of our weak fingers, and uh, this is uh, what uh, we will be doing on this section on level one, which is to increase uh, finger strength. When my fingers became limp after they were attacked by stroke in 2013, they have to undergo electrical stimulation because there was no power in them. They cannot even curl. They were simply limp. They were not even spastic I mean, because uh, they have not yet uh, developed that uh, uh, muscle stiffness that we should uh, or we usually feel. So they were just as they were, only this point here, this forefinger was functioning just a little bit, a wee little bit like that. So my first therapist has to let them go, undergo uh, what you call this one here, uh, electrical simulation so that this one can have uh, uh, be introduced to power uh, uh, development. But then, that, um, that kind of treatment was not enough because uh, it was the fingers were just uh, being moved uh, because of electricity. But what I want to do was uh, to move them like normal. So, my early upload in level zero was I have to let my thumb touch this. Uh, the tips of these fingers here to introduce movement to them. That is the very first level. This one here, the introduction of props like this, uh, is the second stage of development in the strength development of uh, the weak fingers. I have divided this uh, exercise into two because I want us to focus on only one skill, and I want us. To, I want you to go for that. Um, have that uh, embedded in your mind first before we go to the next level. So that is what we shall see in this exercise. I am here today to teach you one of the basic things I did in order to develop my the pinching power of my forefinger and my middle finger. And at the same time, uh, their ability to move, uh, to open up also. But basically, this one is more on the ability of the fingers to meet each other and hold something hard. So, the material I used was this uh, clothes pin, the ordinary clothes pin that is used to hold the laundry on the clothesline. It was the spring of this material here that provided the energy in uh, awakening the powers of the uh, fingers on the weakened fingers. So how did I use this as a therapy material? Okay, so what I did was the first time I did it was the good hand has to help in pressing this one because uh, previously these fingers cannot even press themselves. So they need motivation. So what I did was I used my good hands, good fingers to help press the uh, pin first. So it, I just did it like this. There. So just keep repeating it this way. 
Okay, so just be like that. So maybe you can count up to 40 again. The more you count, the more counting, the better. So after this one's done, then you go to the middle finger and do the same thing there. So you just count uh, up to 40 again. If it slips, that is okay. Return it back and then press it again. That is the way this thing is done. Okay, so there. Then, for the uh, ring finger, the small finger, they don't have that much power to really press it like new. So, what I did was I have to reverse the position of this one here. So, I place it like this and then I press the uh, ring finger like this there so I place the my thumb at the back of the palm of my weak fingers and then I just press it this way in order to get the uh, or move to get the uh, finger moving then I did it with the same with the small finger here so there I did it this way there so it's a little bit uh, there Okay, a little bit messy with these fingers here because they are not yet developed in their strength. But anyway, just keep pressing it uh, for them to feel how it is to uh, exert pressure. So that's how I use basically this uh, clothes pin here to develop the pinching power of my weak hand or my weak fingers there. One goal that we should be able to achieve when we practice our fingers uh, using the pin is that the forefinger especially and the thumb should be able to hold a piece of cotton band and uh, that is what we shall see right now so this cotton band here is picked up by this forefinger and thumb here and then there it goes see that then there's the message okay There. Okay.